Hello, I'm Rob King, uh, head women's soccer coach here at Young Harris. My coaching career spans, you know, close to 30 years. Um, four colleges during that time, some, you know, some small, some medium, some large. Uh, started off at Martin Methodist College, uh, a small junior college at the time uh, in men's soccer. I uh, was fortunate there, won a national championship with my men's team. Uh, moved on to Montevallo, NCAA Division II, and uh, took over a men's program, uh, started a women's program, got into women's soccer at that time. Um, again, had some good success there with, with both teams. Uh, first ever Gulf South uh, Conference Championship. Then we, uh, we, we moved on to Kennesaw, started the program there, NCAA Division II at the time, um, women's program, and uh, had real good success there, won the, the D2 National Championship in our second year, moved to D1, uh, had many good years there as a, as a D1 school with postseason play and um, when the opportunity presented itself here, uh, I knew this was something I, I couldn't resist. I'd known a little bit about Young Harris, I'd, I'd known about some of their successes, um, I was aware, I, I knew the Trinidadians that were in the women's soccer program at the time because we had the, the national captain of Trinidad on my team at Kennesaw, so I knew the players that were here. Um, I was aware that they'd won the you know, national championship there. I knew Mark McKeever on the men's side because Mark had played against my teams uh, when he was at Christian Brothers. Um, so I knew he had one of the best you know, programs uh, in any division up here at Young Harris. So I knew a little bit about the school, so when the opportunity presented itself, it seemed like it'd be a great fit. You know, coming from England, at least at the time when I was growing up playing, um, there were very few females that played. Occasionally there was a female uh, that played on a men's team, but there wasn't really organized women's soccer at that time. So when I arrived in the States, it was still that way, uh, even here um, in, the, in the late 80s. Um, but obviously the, 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 the sport was growing. And when I, when I made the move to Montevallo, they said, well, you know, you're coming in to take a men's program, but we'd really like you to start a women's program as well. Uh, so I, I liked that challenge. I got involved with um, the Olympic Development Program. We were hosting the regionals down there. Um, so I really got immersed in, in women's soccer quite quickly and, uh, and you know, and loved it. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be unusual. Um, you know, we're hoping to get back on the field quite quickly and, and you know, begin our training again. Um, We've, we've got a, a long run up. It's, it's very different for us to play springtime, obviously. Um, typically we come in, we have a, a really busy uh, start to the season and um, it, it doesn't let down you know, until we get into October there. So this is a slower pace for us now. Um, we're returning to full sport and full competition, uh, full practices for our players. And it, it's been a little, a little while since they've had that. So. Um, we're cognizant of that. I quite like the, the longer time period that we have now to sort of re-socialize, get them where they need to be uh, and be ready for the spring. I think the season's gonna be somewhat condensed in the spring uh, in order to fit everybody's playing schedules together. Um, so it is gonna be different. On, on a personal level, I'm actually quite looking forward to, to playing in, you know, in February and March. I like the cooler temperatures, um, as do some of our international players. So. Um, I'm quite looking, to, looking forward to coaching games with, with long sleeves on and tracksuit bombs. I, I see them do very well. I mean, we, um, we had a large uh, freshman class last year that came in that was very impactful. Um, it, it's one thing to have a large class, it's another thing for them to come in and, and almost all of them start, which is what we had last year. So it was, uh, it it was a good year, we had some good moments. I think we, uh, we started slowly last year because we really didn't know each other. We had a middle period where we really started clicking and doing well and, and, and won some, some quality games there. And then I think we petered out a little bit last year. Uh, a little bit of that freshman uh, experience as exams came on and things, we uh, maybe lost a little bit of focus. So with that group returning, I think they've learned from that lesson uh, and we've got some, some key additions this year as well that we were able to bring in. So um, we, we can't wait for our season to begin. Most of my favorite memories, I think 
as a let's say a, a more experienced coach, I think as you uh, as you've been in the game a long time, uh, most of my memories now are, are more about people that I've come across. Um, it's not. Although the games are critically important and, and everybody wants to win and win conference championships, win national championships, the, um, the thing now for me that, that has been that way for, for several years now is, is just the, the people that I, that I run across, that I get to mentor, that I get to work with. Um, so without putting my finger on any one particular moment, um, it, it, would be, you know, it would be those, those people. Um, it was great as we were able to go to our first, uh, you know, Peach Belt Conference uh, semi-final. That was that was a nice moment for for those kids in the program. Um, but the bottom bottom line thing is is for me, it's the people that we have.